Hey everyone! Last week I showed you how to build your own light table in a quick and easy way and in case you haven't seen this video yet, I will link it here again so you can watch it. For all smartphone and tablet users, the link is also down there in the info box. And this week I'm going to show you what kind of advantages a light table has over having none. So, I will always compare having a light table or using a light table to working on the same piece of paper throughout the whole time, so from start to finish, as opposed to using your light table to trace lines. Most of you will know that a light table is used for tracing lines from your sketch to your marker paper or to whatever paper you have, but you can use your light table for other things as well. So the first thing that I really love about having a light table is a layering system. You're working on several layers. This is my sketch paper and this is my marker paper. And right now I'm just gonna prepare this. I always use photo stickers to glue my marker paper and my sketch paper together. So I take two photo stickers. Can you see this? Yes. I take off these thingy things. And then I just touch them a couple of times with my fingers to make them less sticky because if you leave them as they are, they're extremely sticky and they might damage your paper. So I will make them a little less sticky and then I can glue these two things together. Now my two pieces of paper are attached to each other, which is really great because it prevents the sketch paper from sliding around down here. So the first advantage of this layering system is that you're not working on your sketch paper. So if you make a mistake, yes, I'm going to make a mistake on purpose now. So say you're all doing eyes and Blah, and everything is nice and everything looks good and suddenly you want to do this round thing and oops yeah if this happened on your sketch paper yeah now what no panic because because of this layering system you just have the mistake on this piece of paper so you can just take this marker paper away, take another piece of marker paper, and you can start again without having the mistake on your picture. So this is a big advantage. Another thing I really love about the system is You can also change distances, places, and proportions. You don't have to trace the lines exactly as they are. So for this example, I'm going to change the position of her face interior a little bit because that will make her look downwards a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to take off your marker paper. So this gives her a completely different look and once you start working on her body you can just move the paper back down. So that was only one demonstration of changing distances. Now I have drawn these hearts here and there and with this technique I can also change them. 
for example, if I want to have them higher up because my piece of paper is different. I mean, this is, uh, this is obviously more useful for more complex structures. Now, this always looks a bit weird if you have the sketch here and you're inking there, but you'll have to live with that. You can do the same thing with proportions. For example, you can scan your sketch onto your computer and then you can work on whatever you're working on, print it, and put it underneath your inking paper and trace that. So that's also completely possible. Another thing which is possible with a light table is replicating and mirroring. And this was something I always envied CG artists for because they just copy and paste and mirror and do whatever they want. And I sat there in front of my computer and thought, no, <laughs> I want to do this too. However, this is possible with a light table because you can move the paper around. I could use this heart here and move it anywhere I want. I can even twist and turn it. And the coolest thing is I can also mirror the image. And then I still have one last technique which you can also do because up until now I have always compared having a light table to having no light table. You can also do the last technique without a light table if you just have a pencil sketch. And what I mean by this is the no lines technique. There are some people who like the no lines technique, which works as the title says, without lines. So you just have the image here, and then you start working with your colored pencils, markers, whatever, right on the next paper here. So you don't take a liner and start lining everything, which you have sketched before, but you jump directly into the coloring. You can do this um, on a pencil sketch directly too, but the thing is you can't work with Copics on pencils because it's not good for them. The lead is said to clog the nibs of the markers. So Copics plus pencils, nope. But you can definitely do it with other materials and if you just have pencil lines they won't be very visible afterwards but still they might be visible and some colors tend to lock the pencil so much in place that you can't even erase it afterwards so this would be the safer alternative because you absolutely don't have any lines on your other paper yeah this uh, method is also really good for landscapes because sometimes you tend to make too many lines because in nature there are no lines. Admittedly, the chibi is a bad example for this technique because chibis live from their thick lines. But if you're, if you're a lot into nature and into realism, this might help you a lot because you still have the outlines and the guidelines on your sketch, but you don't need to trace them onto your upper piece of paper. So yeah, these are the main advantages I see in a light table. I could go on and on for hours, but I think nobody would listen. <laughs> if you have any other significant discoveries with your light table, please let us know in the comments down below because we can all learn from it. I hope you liked this video and I also hope to see you next week. Bye!